Tennis makes it four in a row. And College Go Week might be over, but there's still more for seniors. Stay with us because we are on, on the, the air. air. I'm Aquaberry Blast. I'm Peach Panther. We kick things off today with the championship. RHS Boys Tennis took on rival Centerville on the Tiernan Courts Friday night. The Red Devils swept the Bulldogs 5-0 for their fourth straight sectional title. Next up for RHS is a meeting with Newcastle on Tuesday night in the first round of the regional, again on the Tiernan Courts. The winner moves on to the regional final against Franklin County or Batesville on Wednesday night. Both matches start at 4.30 p.m. Seniors, if you haven't taken the SAT yet, time's running out and this week you can get some help. RHS counselors will be helping sign up students for SAT in November today in the library during 5th, 6th, and 7th periods. See your counselor for a pass. Now let's take a look at the rest of the announcements. Another chance that we can fund and seniors still have the chance to visit some area colleges. If you didn't make it this weekend, you have one more chance to save the beaver skeleton of Dennis Hall in the Joseph Moore Museum breakout game. It will run again this Saturday. You can go by yourself and get placed in a group or take a group of eight. You have 60 minutes to crack codes, find clues, solve puzzles, and save the world's most complete giant beaver skeleton before it becomes toast. You can sign up online and get more information. Just follow the link on our RHS Radio TV Facebook page. Any student interested in participating in a drama club, please stop by and talk to Mr. Langley in his room R106. Seniors, Ivy Tech will be having an open house this week. You can take a tour of their buildings, meet professors, find out more about their programs, and enjoy free pizza all on Wednesday night from 4.30 to 8 p.m. Purdue Polytech's day in college is open to both juniors and seniors. Students interested in computer graphics, animation, web design, engineering, robotics, and more should consider going. If you think you'd like to attend, you must be on a track to graduate with a Core 40 diploma. Just see your counselor to find out more before this Friday. Primex Plastics is having an open house for anyone who might be interested working there. You can tour their faculties. There will be food, games, on-site interviews for anyone already 18 and more. The open house is this Saturday, October 7th from 2 to 4 p.m. at their plant on North F Street. So if you'd like to get a head start on a good job after graduation, stop by the Primex open house. In our final announcement, today, the first meeting of the Creative Writing Club will be this Wednesday, October 4th in Miss Winter's room, L109. If you have questions, see Miss Winter or Miss Fulvey. That's your announcements. I'm Joey Coble. 
More week in action in today's Red Devil Sports Report. That's right. Besides tennis, we had football, and volleyball hosted their own Red Devil Invitational. After tennis was well underway, RHS football took to Leibolt Field under the Friday night lights against ninth ranked and undefeated Lafayette Jeff. While RHS didn't get their first win, they did show some signs of life, making a few big plays, including a big hit from Colton Davis on the Jeff quarterback early in the game. We'll share some of the highlights, including Colton's hit at the end of our show. Next up for RHS is a road trip this Friday at Anderson. RHS also found out over the weekend who they'll face in the first round of the sectional. The Red Devils will get to face Newcastle at their home game, at home for their first game. The Trojans are ranked 18th in the 4A and are currently 4 and 3. RHS Volleyball hosted their own Red Devil Invitational on Saturday. RHS went 2-1, losing in the championship to New Pal. The Red Devils were led by Becca Johnston with four, 54 assists and Lauren Pierce with 28 kills. Next up, Seton. The RHS Bleacher Creatures want you to come out and support the RHS volleyball team at Seton tomorrow night. Tickets are available in the athletic office for $3 for students. The theme will be read out and we want to fill Seton's gym with Red Devils. That's sports. I'm Olivia Carter. After a beautiful weekend, let's see what the forecast has in store for this week. The weather is going to be clear for the next few days. The weather today is going to be clear with highs getting into the upper 80s and lows getting in the lower 50s. Tomorrow is going to be clear with highs getting in the lower 80s and lows dropping in the upper 50s. That's your weather. I'm Parker Smith. That's our show. As we leave today, here are a few highlights from Friday's foosball game. Have a great day.